Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Super fast video for you today, and I want to share a trick with you that was shared with me by an old mechanic, who was actually my dad, that involves removing bearings with nothing more than a rod and some bread. And I'm not joking, like serious bread you would eat like with a sandwich. It's gonna blow your mind if you haven't seen this before. Just be prepared. So what we're going to be doing is removing this pilot bushing from the back of this crankshaft and I'm going to remove it with some bread. You can use white bread, wheat bread, you can use muffins, hot dog buns, doesn't make any difference. Bread. Here. Go catch a mouse, okay? Is it true? What? <laughs> He's been watching me carry around this bread for like five minutes. He wants some. So there's been several instances where I've had to use this trick. Out in somebody's driveway, right, at a friend's house, helping them change a clutch out, and they want to replace their pilot bushing, but they don't have a slide hammer or the tools that are made for it. This is pretty slick, right? All you need is some bread, like I showed, and something that fits relatively good inside of the hole. Can you hold that? Grab me another piece out of there. This one's kind of disappearing. <laughs> now all we want to do is shove this bread. I've seen people use grease, but it seems to be really messy unless you've got some super thick grease. Bread, you know, basically dough, and it tends to work extremely well. I think it's one of the best things used for this. Now let me get a hammer. We also need a pretty decent size hammer. And just pack that hole full of bread and just keep pounding on it. See how that is coming out of there? And push some more bread in there. Bobby's down there cleaning up the mess. I for you. And that bearing that bread compresses in there, and it just forces that bearing out of the hole. There we go. Pilot bushing removed with bread. Isn't that a slick trick, right? If you don't have a slide hammer or anything like that, and you have a few pieces of bread and a shaft that fits into that bore relatively snug, and a hammer, you can remove the pilot bushing with nothing more than bread. Sometimes it takes quite a bit of bread depending on how big the hole is and the bigger the surface is on the back of the bushing the better it works because the more surface area that bread has to push on because that's what happens is the bread just has nowhere to go and it forces the bushing out of the bore. So I pulled this pilot bushing out because it's good not because it's bad. I'm replacing the motor in my truck and my replacement motor doesn't currently have a pilot bushing in it and using that bread it gets these out with no joke without putting a scratch on them so just checking the fit here to make sure that you know it's still good i know it is got very few miles on it so there we go now we can reuse this bushing save a few bucks maybe teach a guy a new trick right Okay. installed so down in the comments tell me what your trick is I love these mechanics tricks I always have now that's it for this video hopefully I made a few of you guys smile maybe showed you something that you hadn't seen before I know I've got friends that I've used this trick with like in their driveway helping them remove clutches and then years later they bring up the fact that I removed their pilot bushing with bread and they originally thought that I was full of it when I told them I was going to do so. So, pretty interesting. So, old one out, old one in, really. So, thanks for watching. Viewers, patrons, subscribers, anybody who's helped me out whatsoever, it is much appreciated. And I will see you next time.